Garcia, we're back at 141, and an interesting development here. They weighed three guys in, and Coach Borelli, they're wrestling Raymond Lopez, who's sort of their utility man, and he mentioned the two other guys. One of them he felt was the best on the mat. The other one was the best on his feet, and even though Lopez is the smallest one of the three, he thought he was the best hand fighter and one of the best guys at slowing people down, so it'll be interesting to see the strategy uh, we talked about how the fact that a 9-0 lead for American might actually have played a role into which guy wrestles here. Yeah, and one thing, you know, to keep in mind, right, this is this is Courtney's, you know, first year up at 41. So he's not a huge 41-pounder. And, and Lopez, a guy who kind of fluctuates between 25 and 41, so, you know, he's got to think, call him a 33-pounder, right? So the size isn't an issue in the decision for the staff yeah it's a good point like if you know if Courtney were cut from 55 I'm guessing we would have seen one of the other two guys right yeah exactly right you got a guy who's big and strong jacked up 41 pounder who's you know 160 in, in April uh, you're probably not gonna throw him out against a guy who, who's certified and has wrestled at 125 this season for the duel, though, this is getting into sort of must-win for UVA, right? Like, I mean, you can't go down 12 nothing, right? 12-0, right? That's essentially four match, you know, four matches, and, you know, you, you got to win a majority of the matches to remain. So yeah, th th this, creates a, this creates a little bit of a sense of urgency for the Cavaliers. Uh, Courtney's a leader. He's a veteran. And, and, and although his dual meet experience this season is a little bit limited, Right? We know of his career in the past and what he's been able to accomplish. So I think he understands the scenario and the, and the task at hand. Yeah, it's it's definitely interesting, though, because, I mean, I think on paper we kind of thought UVA would win this duel pretty handily, and they still might. It's not like it's over or anything. It's just interesting to see that, I mean, in general, I think when you and I and the other guys that I talked to a lot about duels, like you gotta win five. You know, it's hard to win a duel when you only win four matches. And Americans two fifths of the way there and they got bonus along the way. So they probably win most five five splits with the pin. Yeah, and one thing, you know, we've kind of talked about the, the decision uh, at the at the hands of the American staff, right? Who to throw out there. One thing, the, the Cavalier fans and, and staff are, are yelling for a stall call as, as Courtney's kind of pushed the leg attack action, but Lopez has done a really good job of pulling into a front headlock position uh, to kind of slow him down and not allow him to actually get to the legs. It's interesting because Courtney was doing the same thing last night where he was fighting off all the shots and controlling the center of the mat, and <laughs> nobody wanted stalling last night, and now they want it. So first stall call there. Here's our Tuesday night college basketball doubleheader right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. Blake Hinson and Pittsburgh host Louisville at 7 Eastern. And then it's off to Charlottesville for NC State taking on number six, Virginia. The Cavaliers trail Clemson by a half game for the ACC's top spot. Courtney picked down first, I'm guessing. Chris, Courtney, I'm, Courtney I'm doing picked my bottom. readings over here. Um... Lee actually, or excuse me, uh, Lopez actually had choice and he decided to defer, cut Courtney loose. So 14 seconds of riding time, escape for Courtney. We're at 1-0. And, and there was a stall warning there at the end of the first period on Lopez. So kind of why you had to kick him loose pretty, mm, say effortlessly and, and can't, can't put a ton of emphasis into a return. And, Risk getting warned on stalling again. Now Courtney's in. He's in that sort of neutral danger position. They weren't even looking for that, huh? And here you almost look for like a far side bundle as Courtney defending good here for Lopez, but the Cooperman position. And Lopez doing a good job of not exposing his back, using yeah. that elbow to hold himself up. Yeah, I thought he was going to try to get to this bottom ankle and pass it, right? Like, it feels like that's what's coming. Yep. No, now he can win the position. 
Yeah, he's got to get his head up. Yeah, but if he knee slides, he should be able to do that. Courtney's got to keep his head down, obviously. And Courtney's doing a good job here. He, he's he's tough in this position, hard to score on. Yeah, now, but now it's sort of advantage Lopez, right? Yep, Lopez split the middle. If he's able to use that right foot to hook, stalemate wow. there. So 16 on the restart. Courtney's coming in hard. Looks like Lopez almost baiting him for a slide by. Nice snap. I mean, if you're American, this is kind of where you, you want the match to be, right? Like, assuming Lopez can get out. Ooh, wow. Wow, that was nice snap. So you oh, could pick neutral. Yeah, and, and they're aware Courtney's pretty good on the mat. So you don't want to risk giving up where you know Lopez is kind of building momentum, stalemated, but he, he did win that last scramble. End of the period, he gets a good hard snap, gets Courtney to his hands. You know, mentally, he's kind of winning the battle right now. Yeah, I, I agree. And, you know, he's going to probably need one takedown to get to overtime and then probably try to get a second one in the before the rideouts. But he's certainly not in control of the match, but he's by no no means out of the match. Now he's in on a lefty swing. He stopped moving his feet. I mean, it's a lot of these guys are stopped moving their feet. Now, and now Courtney can finish and hook up a cradle here. Courtney's good here. He's going to get the fall. He get the fall? He's going to get it. Doing a good job of readjusting. Now he's going to try to settle his hips back on top. And, and he's tough here in this cradle position, so he's, he's going to be get patient. His chest back a little bit. Oh wow! So what's? Oh, it looks like his shoulder popped out. Okay. So first of all, his health is the primary concern. Assuming he's okay, the match score would be 7-0, and he probably is pretty close to riding time. So he's got nine seconds, 52 seconds remain in the, in the match, so if he rides out at the end of the period, he will get riding time. He only has nine seconds of riding time? Yes. He was on top for more than nine seconds there, but I guess it was because Lopez started on top. Lopez, okay. had, Lopez yeah. had 14, so he was in that okay. cradle position for 23 so seconds. But the other thing is, now Lopez is going to get choice, correct, because of injury time? Lopez will get choice. So they'll go back to their feet. Probably go neutral. Or, or does he pick? Like, no, you don't pick down, because then if you get rode out, you'd get majored. Right. So they're talking to him. This is, you know, it's a minute and a half, so you don't get that long. So CO, here's a takedown. He drops that, plants that elbow and runs to it, then fishes that hand through, does a nice job here. And I think, I thought you were right. He just couldn't get his chest back over the top of him to get the fall. And then somewhere in this sequence is where he gets injured. It's from this side, it's kind of hard to see. I can't tell if he let go because he was hurt or he got hurt when he let it go. Did you I, have a different to, angle? To me, it looks like he had the cradle and Lopez was fighting the, the top hand. And when he went to roll through, his kind of wrist got caught and his arm turned. But you see that he's just protect, like his right arm, he's doing nothing with it. You see that? He's like, he's just protecting that right arm. See how he's, he's hiding it? Now he's looking for a cradle. Yeah. But I mean, Courtney's just trying to keep that right arm back and just try to hold on to this decision for the team. Like, he's just left hand leading. His right hand, like, I don't even think he meant to put it up there. He's probably going to take it back. I mean, if you've ever dislocated something, even if you pop it back in, it doesn't feel right for a while. No, you, you're, you're going to need an ice pack after that one. Yeah, I think taking the stall call doesn't matter. Like, you're just trying not to have anything terrible happen to you. So, so Lopez did what he had to do, try to come back. I mean, Courtney did what he needed to do, which is gut out the win. And you can TC, he's in pain. It does get UVA on the board now. It's 9-3 to three after three matches, and I think they'll 
make sure they raise his good arm. It's a gritty yeah. win for Courtney. 8-4 victory. Gets his team on the board. Now we're 9-3. The referee was nice and went and walked around him and got the, uh, the, the correct arm raised. So here's another view of it. Great job by our camera guys. Can't, still can't tell when he got hurt, CO. I think it's right, yeah, it was right there when he, he went to